These are Stella's pumpkins here. You can see those yellow flowers. I'm trying to help her get down some of the lamb's quarters around it. All these lamb quarter, lamb's quarters are edible. Um, and we're putting them this morning in eggs. Knock, knock. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> um, more work today. We're at what, seven days away? Six. Six days away. Um, from our frame raising. Yeah, six days away from our frame raising. And uh, still lots to do. Things are flying off the list, but uh, we got to do that every day. So um, more of the same. Here we go. overall question right now is stamina or endurance. How long can we keep the pace that we've been keeping? It's fun work. We have a lot of energy for it. We enjoy it. But you can't just get up every day and, and beat yourself against the work every single day. So this day slowed down a little bit, even though it wasn't intended to, partly because there was some bad news in the lumber pile. Thing in the pile today. Wait, which pile? Um, well, the one I'm getting into is right there with the gray tarp and oh, okay. wood bits and stuff on it. And mm -hmm. Fia's got her nose right in it. Um, so it's pretty likely we're going to find some furry, uh, some furry squatters, I guess you should say. They're taking up residence in our material. So last week we finished up the six trusses yes and last night we finished up the purlins yes so what is left to do why don't we just stand this thing up what are we waiting for is that what you're asking yeah um, maybe so we need a bunch of two by four and other two by material for finishing out the roof framing when it goes up so I'm getting into the pile of stuff that I milled um, as offcuts, just milled it all to inch and a half thick, and now I have to go and make boards out of it. There was a mouse house right under this first layer. Oh, there was? Yeah. Three or four little ones. Oh. That's a mouse house, folks. That's, is that your hair? No. <laughs> I think that's my hair. So it's tedious work processing your own lumber without all the right tools or without the biggest, bestest tools. Um, but you can do a lot with a skill saw and a, and a saw guide um, and a little crummy table saw. So I'm getting what I need out of uh, all of these trees, uh, but it does take a lot of work. 
Um, some of our lumber didn't dry very well or really at all. Uh, I think it actually took on water through its cover uh, over the winter and all of our spring rains. So I'm having to work around more than I wanted to, but um, I think we're going to end up with a product that uh, we're still really happy with. The critters owned this wood pile. We had mice, we had some frogs. The frogs were cute. So cute! So cute! Yeah, look at that swim! We also had mold. Mold is what I've been scrubbing away at in the background over these last few days. But we've just had a touch here and there. In this pile, we really had a lot of mold. And that's just a reminder of why we're building this building. As soon as you have been out fighting with the elements, with the wind and the sun and the, and the snow, you realize how precious it is to have shelter, to have a roof over your head, or in this case, a roof over our timbers. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Whoa, that's big. So it seems a little crazy to be building another building right now. It's uh, a pretty big undertaking and it's a pretty um, a pretty butch building, I guess. Um, so why do we do that? Well, um, I want a place where I can make things and where I can uh, keep the tools safe and uh, just generally support uh, our way of life, which is making stuff. So that uh, sort of warrants a good facility. So we're doing our best to provide a good facility to support all the things we want to do out here. Mm. All right, so what does Carrot Man think about standing at the top of a 14 <laughs> foot ladder? Carrot Man. Not okay. bad, right? So that's, that's the ladder, the green line? The, this blue line is the top of the ladder. And oh. it, you only go about waist high if you're really uh, feeling spicy, you go shin high. Right. I but feel spicy. Maybe you could give him little arms. I'm sure I could. Spend my time drawing a, a man. Carrot man. A little carrot but, uh, man. Who is who is not part of the... Um... So this is a drawing of the shop. And Nick's going to rent a 14 foot ladder, which is what that blue line is. So we're seeing how tall a person is on a 14 foot ladder. It's a whole lot like standing on the tie beam, but if you're trying to put a temporary brace on something, you probably don't also want to stand on that thing. On that same thing that you're trying to brace? Yeah. There's some logic to that. I actually have another copy of that temporary brace. I'll have them going both ways. Like that. So now these, I was just away, these orange lines are the temporary braces. Yep. We can see Nick wearing down. Um, he's putting his full force into this project and I have no doubt that it will be a success but I'm glad to be able to say that he has help coming very soon. Some friends that will be great emotional support as well as help getting the actual work done. So he just has to hang in there for a couple more days. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Five days till the frame raising and we hope you come back and see it.
Good night, little house. Careful, careful. Oh. oh, there. He's okay. All right, take him to a wet spot. Look out. Are you all right? I'm awesome. <laughs>